media doesn't want the squad to look bad. <sighs> Anti-Semitism. Okay, but now. We'll Meghan McCain slams the media for protecting the squad after their anti-Semitic remarks and causes uproar among the view ladies. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel. This channel is dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. Today we are going to be watching a cat fight unfold on the TV talk show The View. I don't recommend you watch this show, but every once in a while Meghan McCain goes against the wacky liberals on the show and does her best to talk some sense into these hosts. In this case she exposes the media bias and the bias towards the squad in Congress. What, what are your thoughts on this? Are you trying to figure out, like I think I am, why there is no one saying, hey, why her own party isn't dragging her in, saying, listen, you can't do this. Well, I mean, I, I can't stand Marjorie Taylor Greene. I think she's a crazy person. I've said that over and over again. But she has been stripped of her committee. She has absolutely no legislative power in Congress whatsoever, which juxtaposed when Ilhan Omar said that Jewish people had hypnotized the world and it was all about the Benjamins. She's still on the Foreign Relations Committee, and she's able to dictate our foreign policy in the United States of America. So what do you expect Republicans to do? I think that's taking a lot more action against a crazy person uh, than I would say the Democrats are doing on the left. I'm confused. What has risen this to a hot topic this week? Because last week, as I brought up on Friday, there's a huge rise in anti-Semitic attacks against Jewish people globally and in our own country. Uh, in Los Angeles, a group of pro-Palestine anti-Semites showed up to a sushi restaurant and said who was Jewish here and then began, began attacking people at that restaurant. In New York City, as I mentioned on Friday, a Jewish man wearing a kippah was beaten up in Times Square. A pipe bomb was set off in the uh, Jewish Diamond District. Uh, in Italy, hundreds of neo-Nazis were marching and giving the Hitler salute. In Toronto, a pro-Palestinian demonstrator lynched an elderly Jewish man and a sexually assaulted a Jewish woman. In London, pro-Palestinian demonstrators went down the street and scre screamed, death to Jews, blank their mothers, rape their daughters. This was all happening last week, and I would love if the energy that is being put on one crazy woman in Congress, and by the way, if, if she is the face of the Republicans, then the squad is the face of the Democrats. I would love Democrats to put that same type of energy onto what's happening on the left, because quite frankly, this is how people get red-pilled. They're red-pilled when they see the blatant bias in the media. It's because the media doesn't want the squad to look bad. They just want Marjorie Taylor to look bad. Anti-Semitism is a huge problem everywhere in this country. When you talk about Holocaust survivors, yes, it is. my producer yes. who produces me yes, every day is Graham We're going to break, and, and when we come back, Holocaust. you can continue Why talking, but now off? we're going to break, so we'll be right back. I'm cutting you off because we have to go, mate. Yes, all I was trying to finish saying is that when anti-Semitism shows itself on the right, it is easy to spot with crazy people and tiki torches, and when it manifests on the left, it is a lot more insidious and a lot more sinister and a lot more difficult to define. Okay, let me point out that when Ilhan Omar made her equally ridiculous comments. The entire, you know, Nancy Pelosi snatched her up and said, let me sit down and let's talk about this because you are incorrect. She and still has I am power. hoping uh, that, let me she's just finish while well, she still has power. And Marjorie Taylor Greene has yes. been stripped of committee. She has no power in Congress anymore. It matters who can make okay. legislation. And if you're for BDS and you're anti-Israel in the way that she is, it has real power to make legislative change. And we have seen last week with the squad. Okay. So the okay. idea that Marjorie Taylor Greene is more it. influential I, I than AOC is just inaccurate. And it's just not true. I don't know what you're talking, now I don't know what you're talking about. I understand you're, you're, you're upset and I get that. And I just wish we could bring that same energy towards hate crimes directed towards Jewish people toward, as we do with every other hey, minority, we bring, which we should. We bring, I'm saying we, we bring in hate, the media. we bring dislike for all hate crimes. I resent that. We just do. And I when you, that and when you say, which well, one? Well, I resent a lot of things, so we're even. That we don't bring energy. I mean, I've been talking about anti-Semitism on this show for 25 freaking years. Don't tell me what I'm supposed to be saying, Megan, okay? You do I'm your not thing, we you do what ours. You're supposed to say. I know, I'm well aware we do separate things on the show, Joy, okay? And I know you've been here 25 years, I've been here four. That's right, that's right. Should have some respect for that. No, Once in a blue moon. <laughs> nobody wants Nobody wants anybody arguing. If we are gonna compare, and I don't think that it's compared to, I don't think it's fair to compare, but if we are going to compare. In my opinion, Meghan McCain makes a great point asking why Marjorie Taylor Greene is the topic of discussion when so many hate crimes have been happening in recent weeks while Ilhan Omar that has made anti-Semitic remarks in the past still has legislative power. She mentions that the media should cover those points with as much energy as they cover Marjorie Taylor Greene, whom no longer has any legislative power. Again, her points about the media coverage is nothing new, 
and that media biased is part of the reason I created this channel. It was hilarious to watch this unfold, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb. Anti-Semitism.